So from that, the next thing I'll talk about briefly is the CS technical job market, because as I said, we integrate that with our academics. And technology is the future. Technology is the present and it's the future as well. And software development is the base of that. We have software in our, our watches, in our cars, in our airplanes, in our TVs, our refrigerators, our space probes. Our technology is everywhere. And it's always more, it's always more, it's always more. It's not something that we've done and we're done with. It's always growing, it's always going to be more. And that's a good thing for us because that's our industry and that's what we enjoy doing is this sort of progress. And in the U.S., technology jobs are thriving. There's about 7.3 million technology jobs. This is not just software, but all technology jobs. And it's been expanding about 2% per quarter since 2016, and it continues on that. And the reports over past years were that these were the best jobs. That means not just money or environment or challenge or promotion or security, but the most enjoyable jobs for people to have because it's, it's a very creative industry. And when we look at the market, the U.S. government projection was that we have a half a million new technology jobs over this five-year period leading up to 2024. Half a million new jobs. That's a lot. And why? Because there's more than 10 times as many computing jobs open now than there were graduates. So that means that this is an important area for us as a nation, as a country, as a world, to try and find competent people to grow into and contribute to. So this graph shows something interesting. It shows that the supply of computer science graduates is undergraduates as well as graduates is small, about 60,000. And yet the number of opening jobs when these data came out a couple years ago, it takes a little while for the government to collect and publish the data, was almost 10 times that. So what happens when there's a big gap between supply and demand? Price changes, and price means the market for us, the market for advanced knowledge in this discipline. But if you're already working and have a computer science background and degree and job, why get more? And the answer is there's lots of good answers. One of them is that you have more opportunities, more possibilities for choice and direction and promotion, but also even financially. It's been shown in surveys that people with higher degrees, even a master's degree in computer science or own, are able to get salaries that are higher up to $20,000 a year more. So if you think about it, even if a degree costs $40,000, it'll be a nominal number I'll give later, that even in two years you can pay back the whole cost, and over the next 20 years, salaries go up and up and up and up. So it's a very good thing. What does it say? It says the best place to invent, invest money is not gold or silver, but it's in yourself, in your future. And to do that, what are the most important qualities that employers are looking for? And here, a recent survey said that the hardest skills to find were so-called soft skills, those personal qualities that I mentioned earlier. Almost a third of the companies reported that as the hardest to find. Hard skills, degrees, background, transcripts, courses, also important, of course, you wouldn't be able to get your resume in the stack without that but significantly less, only about two-thirds as much. So how to be successful in this fast-growing market? Strong academic background, advanced degree, means a better job, better salary, better future and promotion, and increased personal qualities. Quality is creativity, balance, intelligence, all of these things. These are things that aren't available at other universities. They don't have a systematic way to do that, and we do.